To answer this problem, first we need to understand the diagram a little better. The key fact missing from the diagram is that the two lines that make up the boundary of what the satellite can see are tangent to the Earth, so they are perpendicular to the radius of the Earth, and therefore make a right triangle that will allow us to use trigonometric ratios to describe the relationship between the variables at hand. Let's redraw the diagram as a cross-section of what the satellite can see so that we can more easily identify the relationship between these variables. In part A, we need to find an expression that is in terms of h, the height of the satellite, for theta, which is the angle measure given in the diagram. The trigonometric function cosine is equal to the ratio of the side adjacent to the acute angle in a right angle triangle to the hypotenuse. The adjacent side is represented by the Earth's radius, 3,960 miles. The hypotenuse is represented by the Earth's radius plus the height of the satellite, not 3,960 plus h. To solve for theta, we need to take the inverse cosine of both sides of the equation. Now we have theta written as a function of h. In part b, we need to write a function for the arc length shown in the diagram in terms of theta, an angle shown in the diagram. Arc length can be calculated by multiplying the radius of the circle by the arc measure, which if you look closely is actually 2 theta. The radius in this case is 3,960 miles and the arc measure, as I said before, is 2 theta. Multiplying the two constants together, 3,960 times 2 yields 7,920. Now we have a function for s in terms of theta. For part c, we need to write a function for s in terms of h. This is actually a composition of the two functions we wrote in parts a and b. Since we now know that s is equal to 7920 times theta, and theta is equal to the inverse cosine, of 3,960 divided by the quantity 3,960 plus h, we can substitute the expression equal to theta into the equation for s. When we do that, we get s equals 7,920 times the inverse cosine of 3,960 divided by the quantity 3,960 plus h. This is our equation for s as a function of h. In part d, we will assume that the satellite is 100 miles above the Earth, so h is 100, and we are going to calculate the distance s that the satellite can see. To calculate this, we will substitute 100 into h into the equation that we wrote in part c. Using a calculator, we can find an estimate for how much the satellite can see, 1,761 miles. Finally, in part e, we want to find the height of the satellite so that it can see both Los Angeles and New York, which are 2,450 miles apart. To do this, we will substitute 2,450 into s, into the equation that we found in part c, and use our algebraic properties of equality to solve for h. First, we will divide both sides by 7,920. Then, we will take the cosine of both sides of the equation. Now we will multiply both sides of the equation by 3,960 plus h. In doing so, we will distribute the constant on the left-hand side of the equation to both 
3960, and to h. Next, we need to subtract the constant 3960 times cosine of 245 divided by 792 from both sides, so we are left with the term h cosine 245 over 792 by itself on the left-hand side. Finally, we will divide both sides by cosine of 245 divided by 792. This expression can be inputted into the calculator to get an estimate for the height of the satellite. This results in approximately 197 miles.